Uh, and last year, the Hamilton County Board of Commissioners created the Commission on Women and Girls. The idea to promote the economic prospects of women, encourage women to attain positions of leadership, and empower girls to grow into fulfilled adults. County Commissioner Denise Driehaus will speak tomorrow about where that group's going and what moves need to be made in the future. But first, she's here on Good Morning Cincinnati. Commissioner, good to see you. So good to be Thanks here. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. So what gave you the idea to form this commission? Well, as only the second woman ever on the Hamilton County Commission, um, I wanted to promote women and girls in the community. And so I thought, what better way than to gather up some women and girls. Uh, so we had an application process. Lots of women and girls applied, which was so exciting, well over 100. And so we've got 20 women and uh, 10 girls on the commission. I will tell you the exciting part is the girls. Uh, <laughs> I bet. Because when they talk, you see all the women go, what is she saying? It's because it's so important to have their perspective on the commission. Right, because they're the future. So That's what right. are some of the ideas that you have been hearing that have really impressed you? Well, they have formed, and it's their work, to be mm -hmm. clear, not really mine, it's theirs. They form five committees to deal with things that they think are important to the women and girls in Hamilton County. So it's pay equity, it's safe spaces for women and girls, it's promoting women and girls in our community. And so we're having a big event tomorrow night. It's their first ever community forum where they will do a presentation for the first 30 minutes on the work that they've been doing, but then listen uh, to the women and girls and men and boys, mm -hmm. if, they, if they come, right. uh, to the forum to say, how can we do this work better and start to dialogue with the community? What do you think comes out of this in the end? Is it just about conversation? Uh, are there, you know, employment opportunities that will come out of this? You know, what is going to change as a result of this commission, do you I think? I think there will be some ideas about legislation, about policy shifts, especially around pay equity. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that will be really important. We've already seen a movement to promote women and girls in the community by appointing women to boards and commissions, not only at the county level, but also at the city level. And I will tell you, as a board, we have promoted more than 50% of the appointees that we've done in the last year, more than 50% are women. Well, you talked about being only the second woman on the Hamilton County Board of Commissioners. And we're living in a year where a lot more women are running for office and winning. How does that feel to you, having held office yourself and, and um, in this sort of Me Too era, what do you think that means moving forward? I think that women are finding their voice in elected office. Mm -hmm. I think um, we are comfortable in these roles and we need to promote one another and lift one another as we move, lift everybody else and make sure that people understand the opportunities exist for women in elected office. It's important to be at the table. That's what you're seeing. It's so important to have women at the table. Do you think it's changing men's minds too about women in leadership roles? I think so. <laughs> I think you yeah. hope so. <laughs> well, I think men are like, yeah, of course, women should be at the table, and it's like, well, right here we are. Uh, mm -hmm. And so there is this great movement right now. It's been a slow burn, uh, but I think especially this year, we've got a lot of women that are really uh, interested in holding elected office and running for office. So I want to tell you about that meeting tomorrow night with Commissioner Driehaus and the committees that uh, about whom she spoke there. It's tomorrow night from 6:30 to 8 o'clock at Walnut Hills High School in the main auditorium on Victory Parkway. We have more information on local12.com. Just click that and get it linked. Thank you so much, Commissioner Driehaus. Appreciate Always it. Always a pleasure.